What's up, Red Wolves? Welcome back to another episode of Everything A-State. Today we're going to answer some college questions, test some life hacks, play games, and tour another building. I'm Gracie. And I'm Alex. Let's start with the questions. Do you prefer digital or paper textbooks? Ugh, I have mixed feelings because I feel like some textbooks can be like very heavy mm -hmm. to like carry around, but also when it comes to like studying, I feel like it's like for me it works better when I have like, like it's, a hard copy, you know? Yeah, it definitely gets easier to find stuff and to hold it, but I do kind of like on digital textbooks where you can like control F and find yeah. what you're looking for. Yeah, that makes that, it a little more helpful, a really good but feature, yeah. yeah, the physical ones are heavy, and honestly, I don't think the digital ones are much cheaper. They're not. <laughs> They're really not. So overall, I think I'm going to go with physical. Yeah. Just because it's, I mean, and that also would go with like your study techniques. Mm -hmm. So like if it helps you to like really yeah, look at it. It's easier to skim, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to yeah, go with probably, physical. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Student organization that you're a part of? Um, well, I'm in the photography club, so I think that's that's probably my favorite one because um, I've been like into photography since like I was probably like 15, <laughs> so I really enjoy that. Um, yeah. What do you guys do in photography club? We'll just like plan photo shoots and like go in places. We haven't done much this semester though, but um, okay. and there's like also um, some speakers. Sometimes I think it was one. Um, on Monday. Yeah, last Monday. Nice. Yeah. Um, I'm not really, ASU TV is probably the only student organization that I'm like fully a part of. And so by default, and because it's really interesting and it's fun to come to the studio. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Do you prefer the fall or spring semester? Why? Definitely fall. Fall is so much more fun. You have welcome week. Um, I think in general, people are just more willing to make friends in the fall semester because sometimes they're new or sometimes other people they know have left or moved schools. So people are nicer. There's more stuff to do. The weather is better. I haven't been here for like a whole spring semester. So I'm kind of like biased. <laughs> but I would say also like the fall semester is just like way more fun. And also fall is my favorite season. so. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the weather is great. Yeah, just, Halloween, just, Thanksgiving, Christmas. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so much yeah. better. What do you have in the spring? Valentine's Day? Get yeah, out of here. <laughs> I think. And cold. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there's like no one doing anything outside because it's so cold. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite dorm snack? Snack. Um, I wouldn't say, I mean... It's like a snack, but I mainly eat it as a meal, like the little mac and cheese bowls. That's, I constantly have those in my dorm room. If I don't feel like going to the cafeteria, that's what I have with me is the mac and cheese stuff. Yeah. I think that for me is, um, what are those things called? Like the, the rice, um, kind of like, it's not toast, but you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> like the rice cakes? Yes. Yeah, yes. okay. Um, and then I do like either sometimes like peanut butter on top and like, Bananas and I. Oh, like that could be really good. Good. Really good. I've been trying to get like healthier and have more stuff besides mac and cheese <laughs> in my dorm. So I always have a lot of oranges and oh, carrots. <laughs> what is your favorite building on campus? For me, I would say the art building. I had a class last semester there, and it's just like there's just so many things going on there. Like you're in the main floor, like the the first floor and it's just like paintings everywhere and like drawings everywhere and they, they have like this like big what's it called like mural uh, and then like on the second floor it's just like a bunch of piano rooms and like you're always like hearing music so I think that's it's just like such a good energy when you go in there yeah I've never been into the art building um, I like at first humanities was my favorite for a while because where like Einstein's is, it kind of looks like a farmer's market because they have the lights, it's meant to look like trees in the skylight. But I think I just like the comms building a lot more because it has the Herald, we have the printing press, I like the studio. I just think this building's more like objectively interesting than humanities. 
What is the best way to make new friends? My friend group that I have now, which is who I spend most of the time with, I met on move-in night. Uh, we all lived in the same dorm, mm -hmm. and one of my friends put in, in our floor group chat, and he's like, I'm going to set up Mario Kart in the common room. Mm -hmm. And so, like, six of us were like, okay, and now we're all just like little buddies. So I would say just, like, overall, go out. Like, yeah. even if you're, like, kind of tired, if someone's like, hey, there's mm -hmm. something going on, I would go because you can meet people. Yeah, there's usually something going on always. Like, they yeah. always have, like, like events and, and stuff. Yeah. I also think that maybe with clubs and stuff like that, because then you meet people that have, like, similar interests. Exactly. And then you can do, like, some other things. And just maybe class, even. Mm hmm Like, mm -hmm. you know, and they can be helpful, like, if you forget homework. Yes. Or if you <laughs> overslept. Mm hmm So I think that's always good, too. All right, for our first life hack, we're going to test this DIY phone speaker. First, I'm going to play the music without the speaker so we can compare at the end. All right. To start off, we're going to cut a slit in the toilet paper roll that matches the phone. Okay, once you have your slit cut for your phone, you're going to put in two push pins to act as the stand. Now that part's done, let's put the phone in and see how it works. All right, let's see how it works. Okay, yeah. It is a little bit louder. I would say the main... It is louder. Um, I would say the main issue is just getting it to stand on the push pins. So maybe cut your slit a little higher up or find a better way to make it stand, mm -hmm. but it I mean, work. it works, so I'll yeah. give it an 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Solid. Okay, so our second hack is a very simple one that might help you save some time anyway. So, um, so for your headphones not to get tangled, we're going to use a, what's it called? A claw clip. A claw clip. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to use a claw clip. And yeah, you can now put them in your backpack and we're just gonna be fine. So that's it. I will, I mean, it works. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll give it seven out of 10 just because I don't feel it would be that useful. I guess so. It's not like those headphones are very prevalent yeah. today anyway. Yeah, that's one thing. The other thing is just like you can also find a way to somehow you know, not get them tangled without actually having to use this. True. Um, you could use it for like a charger or something if you're yeah. traveling. Yeah, it's not the worst idea ever. Mm -hmm. But it works. All right. And that was Hacker Whack. Okay, so our next game is 50 50. So we're going to have two drinks. One's going to be a good one, and the other one's going to be a bad one. We won't be able to see them. So we're going to have to guess which one is the good one. Um, we're going to pick, and if we both decide that we want the same drink, we're going to have to do rock, paper, scissors. OK, so now we're going to have the two drinks. OK, this is round one of three. <laughs> I think I regret this decision, because I can smell it from here. Oh, I can't. 
Do you want to go first or you want me to? Okay, I'll, I feel like the good one is that one. So the one to the, I mean, it's my right, but that would be the left. The one closest to me? Yeah, the one closest okay. to Okay, I think the one closest to you is the good one. So, so do we, do you want to <laughs> just, agreement. Go for it. just lean over or yeah, reach over? It? Yeah, uh, well, yes. Ooh, I'm just um, lean over and then drink at the same time. Okay. Okay. Switch sides. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm so objectively against this right now. Okay. One, two. I can't find this throat. Three. <laughs> that was not pickle juice. <laughs> The pickle juice. Oh my bad, I did turn it around. There we go. <laughs> okay, um, you want to pick first? Um, yes. I'm going to go with the other side now. Okay, I'm yeah. going to go with the other side too. I feel okay. <laughs> oh, this is a <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It's dressing. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's cranch. It's ketchup and ranch mixed together, which I, I thought know. was going to be good when I bought it, but I'm really not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you think, Gracie? No. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I did not like that. I'm not feeling hydrated right now. <laughs> 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 I see the top of the yeah. bottle, but I feel like I might be getting pranked, and yeah, so I'm scared. <laughs> well, one of you's got to do it. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm going to go. Why is it fizzing so aggressively? <laughs> it's coming out of the top. Of my bag. I'm going to go with the green one. I think that was safe, yeah. Okay. You want to do rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, actually. <laughs> okay. Dang it. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to close my eyes. Okay. All right. One, two, three. No, no, no. <laughs> hot sauce. I hate hot sauce with a passion. <laughs> it's like, I won't make you do anything I wouldn't do. Which is like, no. I would drink that. I don't like hot sauce either, but like, okay. I wouldn't quit because of it. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, Alex wins that one. <laughs> Good job, guys. I mean, technically we both knew that was the other one. Yeah. Was good one. <laughs> so I guess we both win. Period. Okay, well, <laughs> now that that game's over, it's time for our building tour. Today's tour features the agriculture building. The ag building has four floors, mostly consisting of classrooms. The second floor is where the lobby, computer lab, advising, deans, and professor offices are located, as well as a large lecture room known as the pit. There are also research labs located in this building. While the Ag Building is mostly used for classroom learning, specialized hands-on classes are held at the University Farm and are more catered to plant and animal science majors. The Equan Center also serves animal science focused students and anyone can take horse riding classes there regardless of their major. Thank you for joining us in another episode of Everything A-State. If you have any questions, let us know. and. Also, if you have any hack suggestions or game suggestions, let us know. Uh, we have a link in our Facebook page for a Google form. And yeah, that's it. Um, my name is Alex. I'm Gracie. Thank you for watching. Wolves up. <laughs>